Good morning, my magnificent mathematicians. I'm so excited to be with you this morning. We are about to have so much fun today, learning more about math and growing our brains. And I have my awesome daughter, Hallie, with me today. We wanna show you a great way to think about multiplication. So when you see a multiplication problem, it's important to remember that multiplication is really just adding groups of numbers. Here's an example. It's a, it's a number sentence with multiplication. Five times three equals 15. Now, maybe you have that math fact memorized, which is great, but it's also important that you can picture and explain what's happening. In a multiplication sentence, the first number tells us how many groups there are, and the second number tells us how many items are in each of those groups. Let's do something a little more fun than just talk about generic items. Let's picture our favorite candy. Hallie, what's your favorite candy? I love chocolate. Any kind of chocolate? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if I had to choose only one, it would have to be peanut butter cups. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite candy? You know what? I know I bought some peanut butter cups yesterday at the store. I know I did. I set them right here on the counter. Hmm. Oh, well, good morning, oh. Frisbee. Oh, well, hello, Miss Post. Who's your friend? This is my daughter, Hallie. <gasps> Very nice to meet you, Hallie. I would shake your hand, but I never took that class in obedience school. Oh, Frisbee. Mm. Um, you, you seem to have a lot of energy this morning. Oh, yes, I am wound up real tight. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, Frisbee, quick question for you. Yesterday, I went to the store, and I bought my favorite candy, some peanut butter cups. I had a big package of them, and I know I set them right here. Have you seen them? Well, uh, I, I, I might have seen something like that. Uh, can you be more uh, specific? Frisbee, mm. do you know where mm. our candy is? Uh, 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 hang, on, hang on one second, I'll be right back. I really hope he didn't eat that, because chocolate is not good for dogs. Oh, Frisbee. Okay, well, everyone, I guess uh, we can use our magic. Okay, Great idea. so on the count of three, we'll snap and we'll, we'll have to use magic to get our peanut butter cups here. Are you ready? Yes. On three. One, two, three. Mm. Oh, awesome. Mm. I mm. love how that works. Well, I found them. <laughs> Frisbee, it was you, wasn't it? Uh, I just really like the wrappers. They're very shiny and pretty. It's not good for you. Oh. Okay, look back at our number sentence. Five times three equals 15. So that means that five groups of three peanut butter cups would be equal to 15 cups in all. Let's look at another multiplication sentence. Seven times four equals 28. That means that seven groups of four peanut butter cups is equal to 28 cups in all. You know, sometimes you'll see a math problem that has a question mark in it. It might look like this. What times five equals 45? Now, remember, that first number represents how many groups there are. So think about the question this way. How many groups of five items would give us a total of 45 items? We're gonna use this muffin tin to sort our groups. So we know that each group has five items in it. We just don't know how many of these we need to get to 45 total. So let's start adding our groups to the muffin tin. And every time Hallie adds a group of five, we're gonna count by fives until we get to 45. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, good job, 35, 40, 45. How many groups did we need to reach 45? We needed nine. Nine groups of five peanut butter cups gave us 45 in all. So we know the answer to our math problem Nine times five equals 45. Okay, everyone, that is all the... Hey, Frisbee. No, hey, Miss You Post. did not get into these again, oh, did no, you? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Uh, that was, I was just admiring Frisbee. them. These are not for you. They'll, they'll hurt your tummy. No, they'll make you sick. No, that's for sure. 
Do you have anything else we can give him? <gasps> I have a bone. <gasps> would you like your bone? Oh my goodness, thank you so much, okay. yes, I would love that. If we give you the bone, oh. no more chocolate for you. Or mm -hmm. aluminum foil, Frisbee. This is not good for you. I can't even drink some more of uh, Y'all, that's all the time that we have today. It was so good to be with you today. Um, I will see you soon on Rise and Shine. I hope you have a great day.